And now to breaking news in the war between Israel and Hamas. I'm Erica Sargent. And I'm Jim Williams. We're learning more about a deadly explosion at a hospital in Gaza City. This was the chaotic scene outside the Al Ali Baptist Hospital this evening. The Palestinian Health Ministry says at least 500 people were killed. Hamas blames an Israeli airstrike and claims many of the victims were seeking shelter. Israel's military says a preliminary investigation shows the explosion was caused by a failed Islamic Jihad rocket launch. In protest of the hospital incident, Palestinian President Mahmoud Abbas canceled his meeting tomorrow with President Joe Biden. Within the last hour, the leader of Jordan also backed out of that summit. There are also growing humanitarian concerns about access to food and clean water. Here in central Gaza, people are lining up with containers to get water from a plant. Further south, United Nations relief groups are waiting with supplies at the border with Egypt, but so far it's not safe to distribute them. And still no word on the timing of an expected ground invasion by Israeli forces. They are conducting training exercises right now in southern Israel. The U.S. military has also increased its presence. A Marine Rapid Response Force is headed to the area to provide communication and intelligence support and to send a message of deterrence to Iran and Lebanese militant group Hezbollah.